Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and uh, Capricorn Rising uh, monthly tarot reading, August 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are to jump straight away uh, into the reading. Let me turn off the uh, the sound of my PC. All right. So, uh, the first card, which stands for the topic of uh, your month, Capricorn, this is going to be the Seven of Wands, followed by the second card, which stands for the peripheral activities that you can go for. Here we do have the High Priestess. Afterwards, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the month. This is going to be the Moon card. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the month, and that will be the Five of Swords. And finally, we do have the guidance that Saru is offering to you, Capricorns. That will be the Four of Pentacles. Uh, wow, it's a, it's a month where you will have to, uh, this time around, start thinking uh, how to sustain yourself and how to... Uh, Make yourself on an advantageous situation, should I say it that way? So what, what, what happens here, really, Capricorns, is that you will become more and more aware that a person into your surrounding or, you know, someone that you have a great deal with, it is actually uh, making or playing out their cards or their situation only by thinking for themselves. And for that reason, uh, in the month of August, you are to become such a person as well, because you don't want to be the one who is screwed up, do you? So that being said, uh, let's run the cards one more time, and we are going to scrutinize the reading afterwards. So we do have the seven of, uh, of ones as a topic, followed by the uh, high priestess, which stands for the peripheral activities, Afterwards, it is the moon card, which reflects to the challenges. Then it's uh, the um, five of swords, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the four of pentacles, which stands for the guidance that Tara is offering to you. So uh, seven of wands. Well, seven of wands is usually a card pointing that you're going to be tested either inwardly or tempted uh out, outwardly, you know, peripherally uh, with a, uh, uh, different actions and kind of like different situations as well <clears throat> for one or a, another reason. But the thing is with the seven of, uh, with the seven of wands is that throughout the months, whatever you are opting to do, either regarding career or either regarding marriage, is going to have the right circumstances, the right timing and the right place. For you to do it so that being said you will always need to be on your guard so you can it's or kind of like vigilant so you can scope those windows of opportunities should i say it that way but as a grand topic the seven of pen the seven of wands and with the four of pentacles at the end here 
uh, this month you have to uh, stand for what you achieved up until this very moment all right you have to stand for your family you have to stand for your career you have to stand for yourself if you want to say it that way as well because i cannot say what is going to be the opposition here either inwardly or outwardly as well but definitely you are will have to how do i display it um you will have to deflect a certain malicious intentions Okay, usually those intentions are provoked or they do start with small gossips, according to the card. <clears throat> so whenever you start hearing uh, fallacies uh, to your address, right, that regards you, uh, you need to straight away, extremely swiftly address those fallacies. The accompanied card here is going to be the Tree of Wands. And uh, now we see that your progress is going to be questioned. Your progress career-wise or your progress relationship-wise as well. For example, your progress is going to be questioned by a co-worker of yours or by a, your supervisor. And it's going to be put under a, a test. In other words, you are going to be questioned how fit you are to do the job. All right. Uh, as well, you may be questioned how fit you are to sustain and continue with a certain relationship, which does not twist the, uh, the topic here that you need to stand for what you have achieved up until this moment. All right. So it's like a month where you need to do the necessary to establish or to secure a, a consistent future for yourself. The accompanied card here, which not the accompanied, but the next card, excuse me, which regards to the peripheral activities is going to be the um, the high priestess. No peripheral activities whatsoever, rather than a deliberating upon your higher wisdom, higher guidance, you name it, intuition or whatever. But as a practical card for your peripheral activities, this card means no peripheral activities. You have to completely devote yourself to the opposition, to the stress which something or someone is oppressing on your marriage, for example, or on your career, because that could be a love triangle, right? It could be that, let's say, you are, you are married. There is no other way how you can look at that, right? So you are married and you do have a, 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 a person whom you have an affair with, so this, uh, with these cards, it seems that you're going to be questioned how faithful you are, either from your husband or a wife, or either from that person. And in either way, you need to stand your ground, okay? The accompanied card of the High Priestess here is going to be the Emperor Formation. It is a, a passive enemies. And uh, with these couple of cards, you need to completely focus upon what is substantial, what creates structure, what creates order in your life. No shenanigans whatsoever. And no, how do you say it? Or, or when you attend to pointless, meaningless, and uh, in generally um, enterprises which simply are meant to waste your time. So you don't do that. You just only focus upon this situation which you have been questioned about, which you have been um, called out for, okay? And you will have to spend the month trying to, um, and hopefully, you know, succeeding into a um, stabilizing it. So it looks like that this month is going to be a month where you are going to um, have the task to stabilize your life. Uh, the challenges that you need to overcome here, this is going to be the moon card. And as we said, gossips, gossips and insecurity is what you need to deal with throughout, uh, throughout this month of August. It's just with the moon card, you know, the outcome of that situation is going to be anybody's guessing just because you will not have the, um, the clarity and not, it's not, it's not even clarity, but let's say the circumstances themselves are not allowing you to foresee how all that ends. It may play a negative impact upon your determination, you know, upon your vigor, upon your, um, 
enthusiasm to get involved in the situation and at a certain point you may just you know throw everything away and say let it be whatever it's gonna be you know i don't want to have a part, any part of it and that will for sure guys uh going to uh make you a loser all right you are going to lose whatever happens forward from that situation so the challenge here for you is despite you know that the thing is chaotic very insecure very vague not to stop you know trying to sustain it i mean the situation either regarding career or either regarding your marriage the accompanied card is going to be the sun formation it is a uh, passive enemies that we do have so with the sun card <clears throat> Uh, it's uh, actually the sun card diminishes the um, the negativity of the moon. So uh, as a, a challenge additionally to the vagueness and to the insecurity and the gossips as well, uh, the sun here urges you to see beyond them, okay? And to try to understand why those gossips are present in the first place, okay? And also to, um, how do I say it? To try to um, understand how much potential your life has from now on, you know, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, just because you are facing a, a test right now throughout the month of August doesn't mean that you ain't gonna pass it. Okay, and with the sun here, it will be very, very favorable for you if you try to keep up as good. Um, terms of engagement as possible with your friends with your family with your co-workers as well and also um, try to take advantage of any situation of growth that the life gives to you because there are going to be such because you are way too negatively um uh, attitude it or kind of like you do have such a negative attitude toward the situation itself you may not have you may lack the uh, the determination to take on those opportunities and that is going to be very challenging as well you know to um, basically be enthusiastic about it <laughs> the next card which regards to the uh, positive aspect of the month is going to be the five of swords so two ways to look at it Five of Swords points that uh, your victory is imminent. That is the most a uh, positive aspect of uh, the card here. But also uh, with it, it comes a price. What I mean is that sometimes the means does not necessarily um, justifies the results. All right. And um, additionally to that, uh, or not additional to that, but thus... Uh, you will be able to, or how can I place it, to put a, a very accurate limits for yourself and how far you are willing to go in regards career, in regards marriage, or in regards whatever situation you are in, which you are tested in throughout the month of August. And uh, finally, with the Five of Swords, it looks like that you, your trust is not going to be able to be betrayed because you are going to finally, you know, uh, trust on your healthy sense of mistrust this time around the accompanied card it is about it is the queen of pentacles so with the, the formation here it is the active enemies and these couple of cards points to a glance toward the future and uh, no regrets or a uh, remorse that you may have been lo uh, that you may have been missed um, a certain opportunities back in the past back in the days as well uh, simply put <clears throat> you are to obtain that standpoint that whatever is done is done and simply feeling bad about it that you couldn't take advantage of it is not going to make you take advantage of it therefore uh, you are to completely orient yourself upon working with what you have already you know and making something to happen out of it you know instead of uh, regretting that you couldn't had more all right and uh, finally, what we do have here is going to be the guidance of uh, Tarot that gives you throughout the month. That is going to be the Four of Pentacles, which completely, completely urges you to try to do whatever you can to, op to adopt a, a defensive position to maintain a secure as well and generally solidify your current possessions so you can a, establish a rather uh, consistent and i don't know how to say it foreseeable 
uh, future of it. It's like a uh, future that you are capable to control and to fight for what makes you rich, right? To fight for your blessings. Because your family may be a blessing for you, you know. Your health could be a blessing for you. Your love could be a blessing for you. It, it does depend what kind of a blessings you do have. But with the four of uh, with the four of pentacles here as a guidance, it does look like that you shouldn't give up, you know, on what you already have just because the opposition is rather rough. As you can see, that person is holding very tight to his possessions, unwilling to move, and it's guarding them with whatever he has, with, with, with a head, with, with its hands, with its feet as well. He isn't willing to let go of anything. And it is how you should be as well throughout the month of August. The accompanied card here is going to be the uh, Eight of Wands formation, passive neutrals. Wow, all right. So it's after all, it's a, it is more like a temptation than an opposition. So it, it looks like a bribery, all right? It, it does look like a bribery. So you are going to be tempted to uh, take on something, figuratively spoken, so you can let go of something and that other something is taken from you. Um, before you actually foresee the uh, the trickery, if I may express it that way. So do not allow yourself to be tempted, guys, throughout the month of August. You know, think twice before you act. Think what you are giving up uh, for an exchange of a, a proposition that may not prove true to itself. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your monthly tarot reading, August 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.